Well, uh, hello everyone. I hope everybody is doing well and fine, and uh, God be with you. Uh, you know, excuse my hair, and uh, uh, need to give myself a haircut and a shave. Uh, just making, a, I want to make a quick video, um, pretty much a continuation of the last video, which is uh, this one is going to be entitled uh, "How to Protect Yourself from Toxins." So, again, I'm, I'm not an expert. <clears throat> just going, uh, mentioning a few things that I've picked up uh, here and here and there. And an expert, though, it would be uh, his name is uh, Doctor Bhutan. Uh, B U T T A N, and uh, he's a uh, top physician in the country, and you'll get a lot of truthful information from him. Okay, so I'm going to start out with, in, in order of importance, of course, you know, starting with air. You can only do with uh, uh, without air for a few minutes, right? And and then uh, water. You can only go a few days without water, and then finally food. You could stretch it out maybe two weeks, or maybe most people maybe a week or two. And so, uh, but there's actually more. And so, actually, Dr. Bhutan, I'm not sure if I'm saying his saying his name correctly, but uh, he mentioned that there are actually seven seven um, uh, toxins. And before I forget, uh, the one I'm so I'm just mentioning, you know, in these three. But uh, the one that, uh, before I forget, or maybe I'll just mention it at the end. Let me make a note of it. Okay, so starting with air. Um, unfortunately, you know, beautiful blue sky outside today. And, um, but I keep, I've been watching, following the, uh, you know, I check almost on a daily basis what's, on, what's in the air. And uh, it, what I see is not good. Um, I'm not going to go into, the, you know, <laughs> I don't want to scare anybody away, so I'm not going to go into the how it's caused. But anyway, there are heavy metals in the air, heavy metals, um, which uh, obviously they're not good for, uh, and they affect the brain and uh, our neuro neurological system, right? Uh, and how can you protect yourself from those? Uh, there's um, another uh, person that I had seen recently, and it's quite good, interesting, Jeff, Jeff Berwick. B E R R B E R W I C K perhaps, and uh, he mentioned um, fasting is good for getting rid of those heavy metals. Uh, plenty of water, right? Okay, and air. I mean, you, you could have an air filter. I have an air, air filters in most of the rooms here, but uh, I think that it's a minimal effect. It's not really. And then some foods that you can use to protect yourself from the toxins in the air. There's also a radi radi uh, radiation in the air. Uh, some foods are uh, ginger and the mushrooms, right? Um, okay, I and let's go on to water. Water, in, unfortunately, uh, in the U.S. and in particular where I come from, um, there is fluoride in the water, and I believe chlorine as well. So any any U.S. city with a population of ten thousand. 10,000 or, uh, or more is required to have uh, fluoride in their water. Uh, it's a neurotoxin. And so you don't want that. So you do want to have a good filter. And you, I have a, you know, I use Brita, but uh, you can see it up in the fridge, up on top of their fridge. I bought some, got some cartridges recently. Those are good for many things. Um, but I don't think that they necessarily remove much uh, fluoride. So you'd want to get a, perhaps a Berkey filter with a fluoride attachment, right? And as for the chlorine, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, hopefully, the, I'm hoping the Brita is taking care of that. Okay, next food. So you've got uh, a lot of GMO food and animals eating GMO food, right? So you, if you're, you're not eating grass-fed uh, beef or uh, livestock then you're most likely it's 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 corn fed in the GMOs corn uh, uh, GMO corn and you know I would say ba basically uh, grow a garden in your backyard that way you're 
at least you you know you 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 so you fairly sure that your food is not GMO'd. Some of the seeds, unfortunately, are probably GMO could be GMO'd. Uh, look for organic <laughs> in the seeds, and also when you shop for produce, you know, look for organic. But then, and then natural, uh, you know, the the label for natural is uh, can be misleading. Sometimes there's something natural in there, and something not not natural. Uh, or so I'd look for both organic and natural. Um, yeah. Oh, and, uh, yeah, actually the, what I really wanted to mention were the things that are used in everyday life. For example, uh, it's going to sound a bit gross, but you know, under, underarm deodorant, uh, a lot of underarm, there are, I think there are a few, but it's difficult to find. Um, but most of the big companies, you know, underarm deodorant, deodorant they're going to use, they're going to include, um, Note in case I have to do this again. They they include uh, aluminum, or it's aluminum oxide, which is also found in the air with heavy heavy metals, aluminum, bromium, etc. Uh, so, you know, basically, don't put anything that's unless you're sure it's organic on your skin, like not even uh, suntan lotion or sunblock or uh, skincare, you know, for dry skin. Use coconut oil. As a matter of fact, I have I just stuck some in my hair. It's not as strong as a uh, smell as or sting as you know, scent as some people think. But uh, maybe somebody will tell me something someday. Uh, and the reason you know for the skin and you know maybe even for your hair as well. It, For the skin is because it will enter whatever you put on your skin will enter into your bloodstream and then affect your your the rest of your body. Um, so that's everything. I mean, hairspray, uh, air freshener. It doesn't freshen the air; it pollutes the air. Uh, microwaves, uh, which, by the way, that you know destroy the nutrition in your food anyway. And they, they, they change the molecular structure of the food, the, the DNA in, in the food. Um, yeah, Dr. Brahmer's uh, soap, which just started using recently, should have started long ago, um, is quite good. You should, should be able to use it for just about anything. You have to follow the directions, of course. And um, see uh, and if you can't find that you know I think you can go to get it online but if you can't then you would want to look for uh, shampoo and, and, and soap that are and also laundry detergent that is actually specifically says organic or 100% natural anyway so uh, um, kind of low in energy so I think I'll just stop there but wanted to get that out and I thank you for uh, for for watching this video, and I hope it is, it is of uh, some help uh, to you. May God bless you all, keep you.